Hey there, welcome to part 15 of Let's Sculpt a Parasaur. We are just continuing on with adding in the scale and skin details. So here I'm just adding in, using the sharp brush, I'm just adding in like those fine lines of detail. Basically where the eye would kind of crease in as well as, um, you know, the neck moving and the mouth opening and closing. Just like those aged wrinkles that we get over time. Smile lines, kind of like that. And I figured I'd add some to the beak. Um, you know, you think about the parasaur eating um, over time that beak would probably get scratched up. Using the draw brush, I'm just kind of enhancing um, the arteries, making them a bit larger. And with that draw brush, I'm just, like before, I'm just going through and enhancing certain features. I'm going to use the grab brush and start pulling the skin down. Um, I saw the potential to make the skin feel more weathered and make the parasaur look a little bit older.
Again, with the sharp brush, I'm just adding in those fine details of scratches and creases. Working on the folds of the skin using the clay strips brush. So to wrap up the video, I pretty much just add in the creasing between the toes and call it good. And in the next video, we'll continue with the sculpting and finish it up. So I'll see you then.